Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday of the sixth week of Ordinary Time. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. You know, it's interesting how sometimes we have the gift of sight, but we don't see. Or sometimes we see the wrong thing, and we neglect to see the good or the God thing. For the times we forgot were created in the image and likeness of God, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your Son, we may abound in good works through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the end of 40 days, Noah opened the hatch he had made in the ark, and he sent out a raven to see if the waters had lessened on the earth. It flew back and forth until the waters dried up from the earth. Then he sent out a dove to see if the waters had lessened on the earth. But the dove could find no place to alight and perch, and it returned to him in the ark, for there was water all over the earth. Putting out his hand, he caught the dove and drew it back to him inside the ark. He waited seven days more and again sent the dove out from the ark. In the evening, the dove came back to him, and there in its bill was a plucked off olive leaf. So Noah knew that the waters had lessened on the earth. He waited still another seven days and then released the dove once more, and this time it did not come back. In the 601st year of Noah's life, in the first month, on the first day of the month, the water began to dry up on the earth. Noah then removed the covering of the ark and saw that the surface of the ground was drying up. Noah built an altar to the Lord, and choosing from every clean animal and every clean bird, he offered burnt offerings on the altar. When the Lord smelled the sweet odor, he said to himself, Never again will I doom the earth because of man, since the desires of the man's heart are evil from the start nor will I ever again strike down all living beings as I have done. As long as the earth lasts, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and the day and night shall not cease. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To, to you, Lord, Lord I, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To, to you, you, Lord, Lord I, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. To you, to you Lord, Lord, I will, I will offer a sacrifice, sacrifice of, of praise. praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to the reading of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethsidia, people brought to him a man blind and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his hands on the man and asked, Do you see anything? Looking up, the man replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then he laid hands on the man's eyes a second time, and he saw clearly. His sight was restored, and he could see everything distinctly. Then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Some time back, I read about, um, written by a rabbi, and he talks about his great aunt Susie, and this took place during the Second World War. She happened to live in Munich. I'd like to read it to you. One snowy evening, Susie was riding the bus home. Suddenly, SS officers stopped the coach and began checking identification papers of the passengers. Jews without the required papers were taken off the bus and herded into a truck around the corner. Susie watched from her seat in the rear of the bus as soldiers systematically worked their way down the aisle. She began to tremble. 
tears streaming down her face. The man sitting next to her noticed her distress and asked what the, what the matter was. I don't have the papers you have. I am a Jew. They're going to take me. Suddenly, the man exploded with disgust. He began to curse and scream at her, you stupid woman, I can't stand being near you. The SS asked what all the yelling was about. The man shouted angrily, my idiot wife forgot her papers again. I'm fed up with her, she always does this. The soldiers laughed and moved on. Susie never saw the man again. She never even knew his name. I think for us, that's a reminder of what we're supposed to do. We are supposed to build the kingdom of God in this imperfect world. It doesn't mean we're perfect. It doesn't mean everything we do works out for the better. But it truly does mean that there are things we are called to do. The guy didn't even know her. In many ways, he put himself at risk so that she could be safe. I think, obviously, parents do that for their children. They remind us of how important it is to do that. And as followers of Christ, we're called to do that in so many different ways. We do things for the kids of today that will be the adults of tomorrow. We sacrifice, we teach, they watch us, they learn. We watch them and we learn, because learning is a two-way street. God bless. For the many people that teach us by their actions rather than their words, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have sacrificed for us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For children, that their parents may be the best teachers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For grandparents and parents, for all those who make sacrifices day in and day out for their children, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God and Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to bless us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have spread to give you what earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you food of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May, May the, the Lord, Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of God's, God's holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, and sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and season. You formed us in your own image, setting us over the whole world and all of its wonder, to rule in your name over all that you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Some of the way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat this bread, bread and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember the deceased members of the Graham family and Linda and Cosimo Rubino, whom you have called from this world to yourself, 
grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the, the glory, glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with your you. spirit. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, everyone.